Hey guys, Juno Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in. Okay, uh, over, the, over the last several years I have gotten lots of questions about cast iron, cooking with cast iron, and all things cast iron. So let's, let's talk about cast iron stuff for a little bit. Um, here we've got, this is just two of our skillets. We've got a couple more, you know, small and medium, and then this is our large one. And then this is here is our newest edition. This is what we got from Silverfire. <coughs> and uh, as of right now, this is my new favorite skillet. It's uh, it's very well made. It's a little bit thinner, and it's got you know the uh, the aluminum handle on it, so it's not as heavy, and it's easier just to kind of deal with, especially for the kids or someone who is elderly and would have a hard time lifting uh, one of these great big lodges like this one here. This one's very heavy, uh, and. You notice that we've got the, the uh, handle protector right here because the handles get really hot on this, whereas this handle here doesn't get hot. So if you have anybody that knits, the, I, remember, I don't even remember who sent these to us, but <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what they were when I first opened them up out of the box and I got them out and I was like, hmm, winter time, I'm flattered, but you know, it's a little, you know, anyway, okay. So anyway, this is what they're for. I finally figured it out uh, and they help. But with this kind of skillet, uh, this style of skillet, you don't need it. And this is a cast iron. It's cast. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is talk about seasoning. The easiest way, in my opinion, and I, okay, all right, I am not like any kind of a metal ironologist or a skilletologist or any that kind of crap, right? I'm just a dude that uses cast iron skillets literally for everything that I cook, okay? I use the crap out of my cast iron stuff. So this one here, as you can see, well, let's look at this one here first. You see how it's got like a slick bottom? It's a nice slick and it's got a real dark black color to it. This one is seasoned. This one, nothing sticks to this one. Uh, we could cook an egg in here right now and it'd be just fine and, and nothing bad will happen. Nothing will stick, so on and so forth. As you can see, when I cleaned this one, I got a little uh, overzealous with the old uh, scrub brush there. Uh, I think I actually was using steel wool because you can use steel wool on this. And the worst thing that you can do is take off your seasoning. A lot of these will come pre-seasoned, and that's okay. But if you're going to cook eggs or something like that for the first time, a lot of times they're going to stick. So what we're going to talk about is re-seasoning this particular skillet. I have made videos in the past about reclaiming old cast iron where you would sand off all the rust and cake and coat the whole thing and then put it in the oven and bake it. And you could do that with this. You could, I could easily... Put a nice thick coat of lard or oil or something on this and bake it and it would re-season just fine. But in my opinion, the easiest way to do it is to just use it. Just use it for cooking. Cook something in it. So we're going to cook some bacon. You can cook bacon, you can cook sausage, you could uh, put some oil in there and fry some fish. Anything that you need that's going to take quite a bit of oil or have quite a bit of grease in it uh, is what we're going to use. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of our bacon grease that we always keep here on the stove. You always got to have some bacon grease around. Remember the old saying, the old saying is if you don't have enough bacon grease laying around to fry a turtle, well then, you just ain't eating enough bacon, I guess. <laughs> so, always have some bacon grease around. We're just going to kind of smear this around in the bottom of the skillet here to keep the initial part of the bacon from sticking when we first put it in there. And that's all it's going to do right now. Spread it around. Spread it around. You can see it's smoking a little bit, and that's okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our pieces of bacon. We're going to move our coffee out of the way, but first we're going to mm. Mm. Holy crap, that's good coffee. All right. I'll put a little bit of hazelnut in that coffee because I'm feeling fancy. Now we're just going to cook our bacon. When you're re-seasoning a skillet, usually it will only take a little bit to get it seasoned up again. So we're going to cook this bacon up, and when it is all said and done, and we drain a little bit of our bacon grease off of here, we'll show you what the, what the skillet looks like once it's re-seasoned. Uh, cook your bacon how you would normally cook your bacon. And then we're going to drain off the excess grease into our bacon container jar here. And uh, that's going to be it. And then once we're done cooking our bacon and we drain off the rest of the grease, we're just going to give it a quick wipe out with a paper towel and it will be magically 
re-seasoned. So let me get this bacon cooked out of the way and I'll show you when we're uh, at the next step. Okay guys, so we have our last bit of bacon that is coming off of the skillet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pour the grease off into our bacon grease container here. Alright, now you notice that there's some crumblies and cracklies and all that kind of stuff in there. I'm going to show you what I do. Again, I'm not an expert. This is just what I do. you got to be kind of quick about it. Come over here. Turn on the hot water. Give it a quick spritzing. Then I just take me a little cheap little plastic scrub brush. You want to be quick about it because you don't want the plastic to melt. A quick run around like that. Hit it again. Big crumblies are gone. You see the water beating up. That means that it's nice and seasoned. I will put mine back on to the burner, and yeah, it's wet, so it's going to crackle. Give it a wipe out with a towel. Can you see the difference in the skillet now from when we started? Now watch this. So what I'm going to do is take some of that little bit of a bacon grease that we just started with. Real thin coat. I'm going to drop an egg on it. And we'll just show you guys that it's now has been re-seasoned and it won't stick. The skillet did cool off a little bit. Give it a second. This is no, I don't want to be any kind of trickery going on, you know. I'm just going to show you guys in real time how it's, how it's doing. You can see that there's no sticking going on. And when it's time to flip the egg, the egg will come off of the skillet because it is now re-seasoned and it, um, a non-stick a non-stick service man with all that bacon in there it's, mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. you want to make a fat guy happy cook some bacon all right hey, come on with it but that little quick swish in the water and swishing around with the uh the scrub brush just to knock those big chunks that are stuck on there i don't like to leave them big chunks on there because otherwise they'll start scorching and then anything that you cook on top of those will be scorched and they won't they won't be good eats. Just a quick little brush. It'll cool the skillet down a little bit, but not that much. So let me see if I can flip it, give it a flip now. It's still not quite done. But I'll show you guys that it's not sticky. There you go. No egg stick, easy to flip, easy to cook. It's easy to do. Don't be intimidated by by cast iron. I mean, you can totally you can totally do it. If I could do it, you guys could totally do it because you're way smarter than I am. The last thing that I will talk about is our glass top burner. You see, we have a glass top burner with the infrared burner type things on there. And I have never had an issue at all using my canners or my cast iron on these kind of burners. I mean, you don't want to be on there banging on it and smashing it all around and stuff because you will break the glass if you're smashing your big heavy pans down and all that kind of stuff. Uh, don't get crazy with it. Uh, use it and be gentle with it. And uh, they will totally work when work just fine because uh, that's what we do. I mean, we use them for years and years and years. This is all we have used in these glass tops and I have never personally had any kind of an issue with it cracking under the weight of our canner or any kind of cast iron as long as I said, as you're not banging around and flinging around and dropping stuff on. So there you have it. Over easy egg. Didn't stick. A little bit of stuff on there, but you know what are you gonna do? It happens. I can't get it all in my skillet. Yeah, I can't get it all in my spatula here. So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope this helps with uh, some of the cast iron questions on how to season or re-season. You can, if you get a brand new pan, you can do it the same way. Uh, if you have an old pan that you need to reclaim, you can do it the same way. My opinion only, there's going to be a lot of folks who disagree with me and say that I'm doing it wrong, but I just showed you that hey, this is how I do it and it works. And the best way, in my opinion, to season your skillets anyway is to uh, just use them and uh, start cooking with them and get familiar with them. Everything is going to be a little different. But uh, as far as that goes, everybody is a little bit different too, and it's okay. So I will leave a link to this skillet here. This skillet here will cost you $29, and it is a wonderful, wonderful cast iron skillet. I love the crap out of this thing. We have been using it all the time. And uh, other than that, 
I'm not sure what else to say about it. So if you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comment section. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys watching the videos and taking and spending a little bit of time with us. Uh, so I guess that's it for now. So you guys have a great rest of the evening. God bless. Yeah. Buzz Buzz, the end.